this part about sequences is fascinating because you're talking about in Miami starting with sequences, mm -hmm. which is now with the heightened paranoia that I mentioned earlier become kind of the norm, especially in the postseason. With nobody on base. Exactly. Nobody's yeah. on base. The game starts and teams are using sequences. What we want, the, the goal of this demo is to show our audience, because we're learning this as well, how difficult that makes the jobs for the catcher and the pitcher. So we're going to show you at home some of the sequences that Anthony is talking about. And they seem so simple and easy to you two because you've done it and you've dealt with pitchers and pitchers know these things. But give us a sense of what these mean, Anthony. We're talking innings one through three, chase the two. I don't know what that means. <laughs> innings four through six, outs plus one. I don't really know what that means. Innings seven through nine, A, B, E. So it's, it's little, literally as simple as, I mean, I tried to formulate these and, and kind of condense the words so it'd be easy to fit on a card. Chase the two is exactly that. You're literally, uh, I'm gonna put down a set of sequences. I'm gonna put down several numbers. And then when I, as soon as I put down a two, it's gonna be the next sign after the two is gonna be the sign that I'm, I'm using wow. in, in that sequence. So what if the second pitch is the one you're calling? What if the two is the pitch you want? You doing double two? That, then that's where you, you can add an extra variable and say, if I don't put down a two, it's a two. <laughs> so you can you can See, play with the people the so runner on second base. You're saying a reliever's coming in the game. He's all fired up. He he's now all right. I'm working with Anthony Recker. He's on the mound. He's looking at you, and you don't give a two, and you're calling a two, and you expect the reliever to know what you're talking. Let's about. let's. Didn't let's you say the relievers weren't so good at that? Completely honest. I mean, some of these relievers, starters, but definitely relievers. Some of these guys weren't capable of of they were they were so fired up and so intense and intent on what they were trying to do that they couldn't focus on something like that those, those, those sequences though like if you look at something like that's what Carlos Beltran was a master of right he's like oh this guy does chase two so like that's that's what we're doing today and then you turn that of course Doug into the trash can banging and, and things that are illegal but it originates with just being really good at decoding that stuff and ABE Todd I mean can you help me out <laughs> yeah ABE was ahead behind even it's not Abe Lincoln that I played with uh, it's actually ahead <laughs> behind even and um, what that means and that this was one that was difficult for me to make sure that I kept uh, you know, up with, but also challenging for the pitcher because that means first sign when you're ahead in the count, second sign when you're behind in the count, third sign when you're even in the count. So every time you start off a new hitter, you're even in the count, it's the third sign. But that means that that pitcher, as well as the catcher, have to pay attention to the, the count that's on the scoreboard. And oftentimes that also got a, an added variable if you thought somebody was picking that up, that you would have something different for first out of the inning, second out of the inning or um, you know when you're out of the inning so uh, or no out so um, those are complex sequences that sometimes you see some cross-ups and you see balls go to the backstop where the catcher looks like an idiot and it's usually because he's crossed up the pitcher in some way shape or form but that's just the tip of the iceberg to what has to be done now to defend against what the Astros were doing in 2017. Quickly on the cross-ups I think that's a good point because you see some really bad pass balls whether it's just Monty Grandal, Gary Sanders Sanchez is like clunk how did that happen that's you think part of what's going on here is that like this stuff is so complex that sometimes it's just well, it, it I think to your point, wrong. when a reliever comes in and you have to have that trust that he not only knows what the situation is and is ready to go compete against the batter, but recognize that there's a man on second base and you're doing a sequence. So you see some bad cross-ups and some bad pass balls. I, I can usually tell when there's been a cross-up. It's something that the catcher oftentimes will run back to the backstop, get the ball, and then walk out to the right, mound right, right. because <laughs> they want to say, hey, you just crossed me up and let's not let that happen again. Okay, so inside this Mets hat, we have a little card. You might not be able to see it. There you go. You have a better view. This is approximately the size of the cards that are in these hats now. Mm -hmm. This has written on it the exact same thing that we just had in your screen. So innings one through three, chase the two. Innings four through six, outs plus one. And ABE, innings seven through nine. So let's try. I'm okay. going to try first. I'm going to do chase the two, innings uh, one through three. Oh, you're going to leave the harder then ones I'm going to No, outs plus one. I think you <laughs> okay. can handle that. Okay, so Anthony, if you get in a crouch, we're doing chase the two so chasing the two you want to call a pitch and I, I i i can try and approximate what it is fastball all right simple there you, there you go. go see you the, you took it easy now what happens if you want to shake me off <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> We're I, not I, you, you come out to the mound and right, you, you tell them what's what um, that's what happens outs plus one <laughs> which is refresh me again <laughs> <laughs> however well, many you outs there are the outs plus okay. one right? so if there's no outs it's okay. the first so sign. how many outs one are, out it's the second let's say there's one out in the inning one out okay okay 
You just gave me the last three fingers, which is the, yeah, do it again. <laughs> Does that change up? That's this signal, I think. Just say the number. You know what, do it again, sorry. <laughs> okay. One. You want a curveball. It was a three, so it was, it was, I saw a two. Three. <laughs> well, one, see, all right, well, because you know he starts what? with a one, one, this three. This mission accomplished because I, it's difficult. It's conf well, I just want to say that w as Doug and I are learning this, this shows like uh, unbelievable admiration for these athletes yep. like you guys and pitchers. They can do this on the fly, think through all this stuff, and then actually execute a pitch. It's, it's hard.